Hey YouTube, this is Orion making another vid. If you like my content, please consider hitting the like button. Also, please consider subscribing, as it is very much appreciated. Um, this is a collection video of my Beaver Bushcraft Strikers and the kits that, that I have them contained in and all the gear that I have associated with them. Mark from Beaver Bushcraft has been incredibly generous with a lot of the stuff that he has sent me. He sent extra stuff with it, with all my orders. Um, and I just wanted to publicly say thank you to him. He has looked after me. I have spent a fair bit of money with his company, fair enough, but he's gone out of his way to look after me. He knows Australia doesn't have an abundance of flint so he always includes a few extra pieces and a few bits of amadou and whatnot so i get to play around with stuff that i not would not normally get here in australia he also added in these two pieces of flint that were quite simply magnificent the sizes of them because if you get normal flints that we get when you buy them are uh, like that size. That's the size of flint I would normally be getting. Well, I've wrapped it in denim just to, just to protect it because it's sharp. But you can see it's like three times the size. So... He sent me those two there. Now I've got bags of flint here. Um, granted, some of these pieces weren't from Mark. Um, I do buy some of them off Viceroy as well because um, I get a couple pieces off him as well. So I have been... I have been getting them as well of him, but I, I also buy bags of 200 gram flints, bags of with 200 grams in them, which equates to about six or seven pieces of flint, which basically allows you to have a few pieces of flint to be able to put in a couple of kits. So, but it, it works out at about $40 a bag, so, including shipping. So it's, um, yeah, it, it tends to add up very quickly. I got in the mail my last striker. It's a little pocket kit. The oval comes in a nice little pouch. He again sent me more shards. Um, these are a lot smaller and... A lot more difficult to use because they're sharp all the way around but again very much appreciated um, smaller ones are good to fit in small kits he added a heap more amadou i opted for some more amadou down so i've got like two bags of this he um included jute twine um and that was about it I put a box of Altoid tin or a screw tin, generic tin of char cloth and I bought this off eBay too. So it's a, a Altoids gum, mini gum tin with two pieces of flint. Again, I bought that one off Viceroy and this is one of these flints that come from Beaver Bushcraft. Fits in there really well. Put a um, Ranger band over it so it doesn't pop open. I bought this specifically as a pocket kit. I thought with those two there, a piece of Amadou, and then maybe some char cloth, you could fit that in a cargo shorts like that there. You could fit that in a cargo short pocket and you've got a fire going but anyway 
This is a collection video of my Beaver Bushcraft strikers. So I want to show you all the strikers I have of Beaver Bushcraft. So let's do that. And I'll have them all out. May as well start off. Oval Striker. That's the latest one I've got. Comes in a really nice little leather pouch. I haven't done a review on this one yet. I'm going to do a, a, a ember later on today. I did one last night. I actually got it in the mail yesterday. I did one last night, but it started raining. Um, no good. So I, I got an ember with it and whatnot, but I, I started getting wet, so it was no good. But that's the Oval Striker. Really like this one. Pinch grip. Develops a lot of sparks. I'm not going to do it in here because it's inside and I don't like starting fires inside here. You end up filling the house up with smoke. But that's the Oval Striker. First of my strikers. Uh, last, I, I just bought that one. This is another one of, it's just a little possibles pouch, suede pouch. I got them on eBay, um, not a bad pouch. I like it. Um, again, fit, it's got jute twine, amadou, bit of char cloth. Um, yeah, fair bit of stuff, bit of flint. Nice, nice little bit of gear, and it holds my old Nordic. Added a, added a thumb, uh, a lanyard on it. I think that suits it quite well. Another good striker. Hold it in the pinch grip. Strikes really well. I've shown it on video. I can get an ember with that. No dramas. Works really well. What I'm going to do at the end of this video, I'm going to pause it, take it outside and get embers with every one of them and show you how easy these are to ember up. These are the um, Tinder bundle pouches that come with in the drop down menus. I will link as many of these as I can in the description bar. Some of them aren't available. So what I might do is actually just link the fire in Beaver Bushcraft, the fire link, like the fire steel link. So just go there and have a look at Beaver Bushcraft because you, you might, they might not be in stock. They do periodically go out of stock because he sells them out and then restocks them. So they're they're constantly changing changing um, stock levels. So you just have to go through and look as to which ones you like. And as with my advice, develop your style first and then get on to the ones you like. I have definitely found I like the the pinch grip or Nordic style, and I like these types of strikers. So I like the ones that I can use in a pinch grip, and I'm, I, I, I sent tend to go on to these traditional Nordic or Viking style ones. And this is the traditional P, another really good striker, no dramas with getting an ember. Um, yeah. Really nice. Easy to hold. I just hold it in the pinch grip like that. Lots of control. Really good striker. And I just m make up. I've got a mother-in-law that's a seamstress. She, she seems to like making up little pouches for me. So that's there. There's three of them. Again, another of the um, 
Tinder, Tinder bundles. Yeah, I only just got this one the other day too. As I said, I've had I've gone silly and had a run of them lately. I seem to be getting one every second day or every day lately. It is slowing down now. I'm down to like I think I've only got three left to go. This is the one finger Sardinian. Supposed to be used like that. I couldn't, didn't feel comfortable. I use it that way. Again, really nice striker. I use it upside down. Again, get really good strikes. I've shown multiple times, uh, not, I've shown videos of me getting embers on with all of these. I've had success with all of them. Um, Beaver Bushcraft, I only had one fail and that was with the Curly R and I think it was, I think it had a problem with the Striker or it could have been my inexperience with them. But now that I've got into my groove, I'm learning how to use it. But I don't like blaming the tool. I think it could have been a combination of tool and me. But anyway, I, I have no problems now getting embers. But that's the One Finger Sardinian. Another really nice striker. As I said, I use it in the pinch grip, um, Nordic style, upside down to usual. And yeah, works really well. And the last one in my one of my possible pouches, I've got two of these now. I actually put it in, went and bought a, an oval. I think this one deserved it. It's probably... I don't like saying my favourite because I love all of them. They all hold special. They all have something that I like. But this is the tr traditional Viking. Added a lanyard. Again, pinch grip, Nordic style. And strikes really well. And, yeah, it just works. They, um... Works really well. Had success with it. Get embers, embers really well. And there they are. All in a row. There are my strikers from Beaver Bushcraft. So the Oval Striker. Old Nordic. Traditional P. One Finger Sardinian. And the traditional Viking. And that's my collection video for my Beaver Bushcraft Strikers. I won't say I will not be buying any more, but I now have all the ones that I like. There are others on, on the site, obviously, that I do like. Um, there's another Sardinian one that I like, but you can only use one at a time. Um, buying any more now will really only just be adding to the collection and it'd have to be something very special or like the titanium one I have coming something that's completely different that I would buy now to add to the collection. But when you're buying from Beaver Bushcraft, you're basically buying a, a quality product that you know is going to pretty well work. And if it doesn't work, talk to Mark and he will, he's quite happy to work with you to find you a striker that will work. And he does have, one thing I do like about Beaver Bushcraft, he has a, um, like a rating system. 
and he will tell you which ones are easier to use and which ones aren't. And so if you're only a beginner, beginner, they do have a, like a, a star system. So all of these had basically five stars. So they are from beginner to expert. And they all sparked extremely easily and develop high sparks. And that's why I chose them because I got caught out with that curly R. It did say on, on, on the curly R that it was a little bit harder to use and it should have been for more more of a more experienced flint and steel user. And I probably should have heeded that warning a little bit more and gone with, say, something like that or like that because they they were more forgiving. But in my own experience, I didn't and I should have developed my style a little bit more. I probably could revisit now the Curly R and I may get a success with it, but I'm not going to. I'm, I'm happy with what I've got and... As I said, this is this is my collection so far. And I just wanted to thank Mark again publicly for his generosity. He um he's only too happy to help you out. He's got a lot of wisdom. I've watched a lot of his videos. He um he got me onto the pinch grip Nordic style and showed me like demonstrated it and once I got onto that that's when I really started learning how to do flint and steel and getting embers easily and quickly and got my first strikes very quickly and found out how to do it. And it was simple and it was only through his, his instruction. And I just want to sh show you the generosity that he, he does, you know, like, and thank him publicly. But anyway, this is a bit of a ramble. I tend to ramble on a little bit, but I am going to pause this video and take it out the back and show you me getting embers with all of these strikers. So this is going to be a longer video. Sorry for that, but I think it is important to show that I can get embers with all of these as well. So anyway, I'll pause it now and then reset the camera up at the back and we'll go from there. Okay, I'm back again. Just get some charred cloth out. I don't know how good I'm going to go with this, some of these That was with, with a one finger sardinian, embered up, no dramas. As you can see, hot. Traditional P. Embered up. No dramas. Latest one, the oval. It's 
firing sparks, it's just not leaning right. Get some raggedy edges there. There it is. That one's a little bit, a little bit more drama. So just I didn't have the raggedy edges going. I did notice this one's a little bit brown too, so it wasn't cooked as well. That can be a bit of a drama sometimes. It um, wasn't perfectly cooked. Old Nordic. There it is. Oh no. Here it is. Just caught there. I have been cooking this at night when it's raining just so that it um, doesn't piss my neighbours off because I have been having complaints with smoke. So that's why sometimes it comes out brown. And this is the traditional Viking. Yeah, it's cool. Anyway, that's every one of them sparked and embered on char cloth all of those ones there I've got an ember with every one of them didn't get any first strikes but I don't really worry about that um, if you get them you get them but I can get embers within you know 20 or 30 seconds of trying not a drama as I said um, they all spark really well and no dramas as I said they um beaver bushcraft makes a really good striker you just have to get onto the ones you you prefer and go with the styles you like and have fun with this you know this is supposed to be an enjoyable an enjoyable pastime you know so and I am I, I, I'm really enjoying this is this is becoming a passion for me so I'm um I enjoy the collection side of things too so that's that's why I do this I um I enjoy collecting things and I particularly enjoy collecting various styles of strikers and whatnot and adding all the bits and pieces getting them in kits and that I've always been a bit of a kit maker and collector too so that's why you see all my all my gear in kit, kits and making kits up so that's but anyway this has been an extra long video I hope hope I haven't been boring and whatnot but I thought it, I wanted to make a collection video of my beaver bushcraft and I wanted to show, show that I can make embers with all of them but anyway thanks for watching